Hi folks, welcome again to another Band Lab Bit. Today we're talking about pan, and pan controls where our ears hear things in between our right and left ears. So we're starting off with some tracks already done, and we're going to turn on automation. But instead of clicking on volume, we're going to go over and click on the volume button and change it to panning. Once you do that, you'll see the automation control lines suddenly go kind of dead center on the track itself. So we're going to pan these two tracks and kind of mess around with them. First things first, do our usual click on and make an automation point and from there we can pan it between right and left so if you drag it all the way to the bottom that's going to put it at the left and if you drag it all the way to the top it's going to put it towards the right now panning is really useful in the fact that you can start setting it up so you have different sounds on different parts of your sound stage which is between your ears so you could put maybe put your drums to the right or the left though usually you want to keep them center you can use panning to kind of set up your band so it sounds like there's a band directly in front of you rather than everything being dead center. You can also use it as an effect so you can have something sweep across from right to left quickly or slowly and keep the ears interested in what's going on in the music. Now let's take a listen. You can hear the instruments kind of move around between your ears as you're listening through a pair of headphones or if you're listening on speakers. Even if you have automation for panning on one track, you can still go back and change the menu over to volume and do volume automation. So you can do both on the same track. And when you're all done with your volume automation, you can turn off the automation timeline view and see the actual volume change and the panning change in the track header. Now if you don't want to use the automation, there is another way. You can click on the pan button and drag it down to go left or up to go right. And that's going to be kind of a hard control, which means you're not going to adjust it once you have that pan to where you want it to be. And that's all the information for automation panning. I'll see you again next time.